The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman sitting in for Larry Pesavento. I'm sitting in for the hour to even even imply that there's a chance that we can do anything close to what Larry does. Nah, 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 nah. Can't do that. So I'm using the hour, and I will, because in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, uh, that I do 10 o'clock to 11 uh, Eastern Time. Uh, let me just finish this right here. I didn't get a chance to do the commodities as I, as I really wanted to. And since for my subscribers, we actually do own a, a quite a number of commodity areas, um, I thought how appropriate that we just get a chance to at least go through some of this. So let me just say the Dow futures, the Dow itself is down um, 109. The, the Dow futures, the continuous contract, the YM is trading down 98, uh, 30. <coughs> Excuse me. Snee should be uh, in my hour, not Larry's hour. All right. So we've got the Dow down, but this is really important. So let me just do a couple of things here uh, in the Chapman Wave methodology. What, what are the, what's the premise? The premise has always been uh, from way back when I used to hand chart uh, the Dow charts, going back to uh, when I got a book that had all the prices from the night from 1920, I think it was. I hand charted all of those on engineering paper. And uh, you can imagine that the little 1922 uh, uh, filled up just a portion of a page. When it came to 1987, the crash of 1987, I had to glue uh, or at least tape pages and pages together because it was one to one in 1920 and the little the little uh, blocks that I used engineering paper was still one to one but you were trading in the what uh, 20 uh, 2800 area 3200 areas so I had all these different uh, I've got I've actually got it right over there but I one of the one of the pages one day I'll pick it up and I'll show you so in the Chapman wave methodology we try to identify the lowest low and then count this is a way of grading each particular higher peak it can go all the way from a peak A to a peak G, seven higher peaks. It's like music. It's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There's never an H. Um, and you've got your, your two quadrants, your uh, um, quadrant number one and then your quadrant number two. In this case, you go to a peak D, and that says at peak D, the fourth highest peak, other things can happen. Let me just move this to the side. You can see it right here. Let me go to the Dow INDU. I hope I'm typing it up or not. Let me type in here. Uh, INDU. What was the peak right on the 5th of January in the in the Dow based on the Chapman Wave methodology? A peak D at 36,952.65 in the 5th. And then you see this little pattern where it comes down and makes a little arch formation and fails, the dreaded H pattern. Then there's a bigger one that fails. So let me talk about that right now. We're talking about, um, there it is. So we've got Peak A, peak B, peak C, D, and then D can see a much sharper move, or it can recycle, or it can start an immediate Chapman Wave instant restart by going within two, within three bars, starting another leg up, which becomes E slash A, F slash B, G slash C, and then you get to your D after that, so everything works out. So let me just do that and show you the patterns. I'm always looking for straight line up, straight line down, Arch from a cup formation, arch formation, or a mix of the two. This is the lowercase h, which can also become a, a, para, a, a kind of a, a rectangle by making another h within that. We'll see that when we go through the different things. Or it could be very positive, a reverse y takes out the left side high and it goes much higher. All right, enough of that. Here we go. So the Dow went to that peak D, the missing peak D we were waiting and waiting for. It did that. We've been long since the We've been long since the 15th of the month. We actually long from the low. We started off in the low of March uh, the 23rd, March the 23rd of 2020. Uh, we we and we've we've kept 
our diamonds, which we bought, uh, we had options and we bought diamonds a week later, and we've still got a core position there. But within that, we go short, we go long, we go short. And usually at D is where I start to consider going short, but we went long um, the diamonds just under 33,000 in the Dow. And I decided, no, we've taken off one little bit, and then we took off on the leg D, which is part of money management. I love the MACD holding like this. I love the stochastic flat at 96. I love the on-balance volume just pulling back a little bit. And I love the fact that the nine-period moving average is way above the 14 and way above the 200. Remember, all of these techniques, Larry doesn't even mention. So we're talking about something completely separate, right? Uh, the cup formation, he does mention in different ways. So that he has your cup formation. The target would be 35,824 if it was full, to fulfill by within a week or so going towards that Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line. Most importantly, a close below 34,800 says, uh-oh, filling in the gap, and this is not so good. And certainly a close below 34,640 in the next week says, no, no, no. We're digesting huge gains, and that's the way we're looking at it right now. Okay, let's go to some of the things that I want to look at. The dollar. The dollar is in a rectangle formation. What is a rectangle formation? It means that you go from a particular high, in this case, 99.42 in the dollar index, you pull back, and what do you do? In this particular case, we're holding the 97.70s area. And we made two lows today. It was 97.67. Same as yesterday. And what we're looking at is this rectangle has an arch formation and then a second arch formation. And basically what we're looking at is the rectangle can go. My rule of thumb is the rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. That's number one. Number two is let me show you arch formations. I showed them a little bit earlier um, to, uh, to listeners of my Tiger Technicians Hour. Let me show you this. This is the IWM Russell 2000. Look at that long, narrow um, rectangle formation. It lasted from uh, back in March, 234.53 down to 271. And it stayed that way all the way until it spiked up to a peak here, 244.46. Should have put the date in. On the uh, week of the 12th of November, pull back. Usually with pullback should stop somewhere in the middle. This went right to the base, took out the base. You made it almost a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. This became like a propeller shaft. And now the rule of thumb is that a big rectangle formation also becomes a magnet. So it pulls back and it tries to go back in. So what we're looking at here is in this dollar, we're starting a rectangle formation. This, can, this is... That was a weekly. This is a daily. And it can actually last longer than you think. And what's so fascinating about rectangle formation is every time you think it's getting here to the base, aha, this is great. It's going to break down. I want to short. No, that's exactly where you want to go long. And when it gets to the top, you think, great, breakout. I want to buy. Ah, uh -uh. that's exactly when you want to say, hold on. It could re be repelled from this uh, triple top. And that's exactly what has happened. So it's stuck in a range. If the dollar at any point closes for two out of three sessions below 97.25. It's changed the pattern altogether. If you come back and revisit its friends back here in the rectangle formation, but it's probably going to make lower lows and lower highs. So that makes it very simple. Looking at the EUR, USD, this is Basil Chapman sitting in for the hour of Larry's hour, but not for his show. Only Larry can do his show. I'll be back in a moment. The Dow's down 99. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Basil Chapman sitting in for Larry Pesaventa's hour. We're looking at the currencies. We're looking at the euro-dollar currency pair in the daily chart. It's gone from this uh, trough C. It's gone to a leg C. Uh, not a big move, but it is a move nevertheless. The MACD is good. The stochastic is uh, very weak at 69%. And uh, it is the nine is just crossed positive, but we're gonna. this is early in the game. What we want to look at is look at this weekly chart. There's a pattern that I look for. It's called the left side, right side price time match now a lot of people people say oh when we go down we go down it's like an elevator down no elevator up and a staircase down or or the what is it the uh, beep beep uh, road runner down um, no I say that most of the time except for the last few bars in a uh, this is not music now this is in the chart when we're coming down to the test the left side low you can get a big big acceleration but look at this if you choose the the, the left side low of 1.0664 uh, around about um, in March of 2020 and it ran up to this doji candle uh, right here a uh, peak D on the 8th of January at 1.23492. Remember, this is a continuous contract, so the price might change, but everything else is the same. It gets smoothed out. The, I chose a long time ago to make this doji candle at Trough C on the, the week of the 2nd of April as the midpoint. And then I drew in a green left side because it rallied, and then a pink, and it was like here, and a pink to the right. And I said, if I'm correct, this Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance target support line, there's a pink uh, or, or red, uh, has to be the support and that by the week of the 15th of April, we could see a test of 1.06364. But it went all the way down to a trough D doji candle, long-legged doji candle on the, the week of the 11th of March to 1.08061. I would say that's pretty good. And it's still a steady uh, drumbeat to the downside. All of a sudden, you're looking at the histogram of the MACD improving a little bit. The stochastic's way higher than it was before. So there's a kind of a positive here, which kind of corresponds to the dollar 
starting to weaken a little bit, and that's why I'm saying, look at the beautiful uh, bowl formation in the dollar going to this peak E in the weekly chart. Um, 102.99 was, I, I should mention for subscribers, we are long from April 2018 at 90.07 via the UUP. We watched it go. We took a little bit off in, in the 96 area. We saw it go to 102.99 and then come all the way back to 89.21 and then all the way back here. So this is this has been a more not a trade or a position, but a position in regard to the U.S. economy because I always consider that. The dollar is a representative like Harley Davidson around the world, the icon. So the dollar is the icon of the success of the U.S. economy. That's all. Uh, and that's the way I'm looking at I'm still looking at it this way, but we might start become, becoming uh, really under pressure from all these other external events. Looking at the USD JPY, which is the, the dollar yen currency in a leg E in the weekly chart, just a screamer of a move to the upside. And we're looking at this same pattern that we were looking at, left side, right side, price, time match. Look at this. Um, there were two of them. This is the second one. And this one takes the uh, USD JPY high of June of this is a monthly June of 2015 at about 125.847. Let's just see if it's there. Uh, 125.847. I take the midpoint of the doji candle right here of the November the uh, 2018 at about 112. And I moved it to the right. And we are one week away in this left side, right side price time match with the Chapman Wave inside track green repellent line going towards the high that was made. What is the high so far this month? 125.101. Uh, and this is 125. Point eight eight four seven. Isn't that incredible? I mean, we have been down in the 90, 98 area. Uh, so this is the US dollar Japanese yet. So this is a very important moment all around because it's saying currencies might be seeing an inflection point that could take them um, in directions. There we go. So remember, the yen very often follows the dollar in direction, not price movement. Look at this price movement going from the 113s, just the uh, beginning of March to 125. This is a currency. This is not this is not uh, a, a Nasdaq stock, but it looks like that. And now it says maybe it's time for a digestive phase and we could pull back 121 to 120 are going to be very, very important supports. If it starts trading the 118 area, it could be time and price that we see to the downside. Leg a peak E in the daily, leg E in the weekly, a lower high next week makes a peak E in that, and a lower high the whole of April would say the dollar-yen currency pair has made a peak E top. Uh, but the MACD and stochastic in the monthly charts are fabulous. Stochastic in the uh, weekly is still very good. The daily is good, but it's starting to 75% in the stochastic. That's a little bit of weakness, but price is still holding very well. I wanted to also do so. Let's just go to gold. Uh, gold. Uh oh, I did something wrong. Let's just go to gold. There it is. Okay, gold. Had this pattern went to a peak E at 207, 2078.80 on the 8th of March. This gets smoothed out. Is it still that price? 2083.7. Yeah, so the price has changed. The high of the 8th, because it gets smoothed out, it's a continuous contract. Pulls back, makes the lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m potential. Stuck in a range above a 19, I, I just have to say, above 19. A close above 1983 starts to break out to the upside and a close below um, 18, 1890. The close below 1890s is now we're starting to make low lows and lower highs. And that's gold, but it's still an icon of fear and it's in play. So at any point, you could just get a sudden spike to the upside. I would not be shorting gold unless you're a real quick trader. But looking at it as I as I am right now, it's just in a trading range. Remember the rectangle formation? Have a look at this. In this particular case, it was slightly different because it was a rectangle formation at lows. And what happened is it popped up and it's come back into the range. So um, once again, let me just say, uh, trading in, in the, the close above 1987 would be very positive. 
and a slide below 18, did I say 78? 1878 would be a negative, but it's really stuck in a range. So there's gold. I want to do a couple of other things here. So this is going to be the question. Um, wheat, that's wheat. Wheat made a peak E in the Chapman Wave with what I call the Chapman Wave Roman candle. You see this candle where it opens, makes a fractional week, plunges, and then comes back and then closes halfway to two-thirds above the low? I call that a Chapman Wave Roman candle. Rule of thumb, if we go halfway into the wick on a shorter time frame there's a, and hold for a certain period of time, there's a real good chance not only you're going to test the low, you're going to break the low. It took two days, not only did it break the low, but it fell sharply. And now, you remember gold, I said, if it takes out that left side low, you can start to make lower highs and lower lows. Well, wheat is doing that. It held the 50 period moving average, but it's peak E in the daily, peak D in the weekly, and a G slash C in the monthly. So wheat's continuous contract, even with everything that's going on, is holding well, but is way off the high that was made on the 8th. I'll be doing some of the other currencies. Basil Chapman, sitting in the hour of Larry Kuzma. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, hi, folks. I am Brent. I am so apologizing for you. I did see your name, and I said I'd come back, but there was so much going on that I just completely forgot about it. I'm not sure if you're still there, but you did want to talk about CLVS. But let me just quickly do this. LGVN, I mentioned in the den, there was a question about long, I can't even see, long, 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 long,
uh, 3.55 at 10.30. And I just moments ago sent to the den saying, if you are long, you've got to use it as a trading vehicle and get in and you raise your stop as a trading stop. The question was, I said, it's just uh, too risky early on. But then I looked at it and it was trading at about nine something. And I said, yep, you could you could do that, but you've got to have a uh, um, you've got to have a, a, a stop that is a trading stop and at every 25 cent increment you've got to take a little bit off uh, so that was that uh, boom lgvn through 10 as jim morrison saying come on baby run with me um, um, even if long from 6.23 hey congratulations uh yeah that is a really nice move it's trading at 10.30 so let's just go back uh, uh, clo uh so what was that again uh i'm going to do this because i had a question I i'm sure brent is still not on the line that would be too long i'm so sorry brent i did see your name and i meant to get to you and i had actually discussed it in the den clvs in fact i discussed it earlier on clvs is clovis in fact, I spent a little time on it because it was purely coincidence that it was a stock that I had on a particular chart from way back. And when I went there today because I wanted to use it, uh, there it was, CLVS, which is uh, Clovis Oncology Inc. trading up 91 cents, up 55 cents a percent, um, and up 90 cents at 255. Um, yeah, this is almost the same thing. But the other one was was weak. It, it gapped up. It did well. It was holding well. And then it started to scream to the upside. So um, all I'm going to say is, I'll go through this again. The risk reward for a Clovis, and I'm not sure, uh, Brent, you usually are looking at these closely beforehand. I wouldn't be surprised if you actually had it um, in the 160, 170 area. And here it is up, it had a high today of 288. And I'm sure by now you've taken some of it off. Um, so Brent is back. Hi, Brent, how are you? Uh, Brent is back. Is Brent you there? there yes, I am. How are you doing? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm doing well. So I did Clovis in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour earlier on because it was just purely by chance that someone in the den said Clovis. And I said, oh, isn't that funny? Because in the chart, I'll just show this chart right now. I went to this chart right here and right in the corner. This is my Dow chart. I show subscribers every day. I see, oh, CLVS. And it was trading yesterday at one point something. And um, I picked it up. I thought, oh, that's interesting. And then I, I, I ignored it because I use it for other purposes. But it just what a coincidence. That's what I'm saying. Okay, tell me about Clovis. What are you doing? Oh, I just called because I had been involved in this stock for a long time. I first bought into it back in uh, kind of latter 2019. If you look on the chart, you'll see where it ran up to, I think it got down to like 350, three something. I bought it more around five and it ran up to 17. And then I've just followed it for quite a while. And I did buy some. From my two sons, I bought the, the January 2024 $2 calls on it, which they have. So that's, that's the only reason I called about it, honestly. So, you know, there are a couple of things that's going on. So this is in the um, oncology area, biotech, Clovis Oncology. And a, a couple of things are going on. In your case, you've had experience with the stock. You've seen the way that it can move 100, 200 percent and then can give everything back. So you, you understand that particular process. There are a lot of new people now that have started trading. They just aren't used to that. Not only that, you had already said that it's something you, you've kept in mind, you've followed, you've held some. So this is the only way that you can really trade. Or we have a couple of people in the den, one in particular, who loves to do the analysis uh, of, of especially in the biotech area and looking at the different phases of approval by the FDA, uh, where, where they are, what they're doing, what stage it is. And those are all very important. But the most important aspect that I can think of in biotech is that number one is that it, it's so unusual to see what's happening today at 56 percent because a lot of the time they have very quick moves, but they give them back. So it's the process of the, the mental atmosphere that, that, that permeates when you're in a stock at three and it goes down to one, but you really believe in it. So in the biotech area, I think it's more important to do your homework, understand the vernacular that you're dealing with and be prepared 
to hold for a while because it's nothing that you're going to get out of unless it goes broke. Because at some point, you're like the particular projection that they have of whatever um, whatever med medical um, asp aspects they're working on, and in this case, oncology, obviously. And any time you can get the, the news, and then there's this big spike. So that's kind of, and sometimes you could get it to three, and it goes down to one, and it has a huge spike, but it only goes to 2.80, and then it goes back down again. So there's a process when it comes to the biotech. There is a mentality that is very different to many of the other areas in the, in the market. So I think you appreciate that. So I congratulate you for holding on and, and just doing your due diligence and have you take what have you taken off right now? Oh, I'm hanging on to. I bought that one is down around a dollar fifty. I bought them those two dollar calls that are way out there, and because they do have an approved uh, cancer drug, which they when I was in it earlier, they had got it was already for uh, ovarian cancer, and then they had an expansion of that into uh, oh, what do I want to say? It's uh, prostate cancer. Oh, and I guess okay. they had a good result on the ovarian side, and that's why it's getting the pop today. But I just thought that longer term for them, they're younger, I mean, they're younger than me. <laughs> they're like my oldest son's in his 30s. So I just uh, I thought that it would be something that, you know, at their age they could hang on to over a period of time. And, and at that Absolutely. price, I thought it was worth taking a shot at. Oh, okay, I, I love that. That's just, I mean, that's another way of looking at the market. That, in fact, is one of your... Um, one of your very different perspectives, because there's another perspective where you are prepared to do something really quickly and take what you can and then wait and see what happens. Uh, so I, li I like the fact that you have the flexibility because that's really important in the market. Hey, congratulations. Thank you, Basil. Yeah, I do generally, <laughs> I am the speedy speedster normally, but on, there are also times that I just you know take a longer term view on things as well. Yep, I, I tend to have the same. I can do. I can be like a snail, or I can be like a, um, a grasshopper. I don't know what it is, but I can be real quick. It's like <laughs> Seconds, the rabbit in and the rabbit and the or the rab, or the hare and the tortoise, I guess. <laughs> oh, yes, a fantastic book called The Hare, the the hare with amber eyes. I'm talking about hares. That's a very interesting. It talks about the um, Japanese. Was it? Was it Chinese? Um, these little these little ornaments. Anyway, that's another story. So hey, thank you for calling. I appreciate that and congratulations. All right, thank you, Bell. You take care. Have a great day. Always like hearing from you. Thank you, Brent. So folks, the Dow's down 141. SP's down nine. There's a lot of selling pressure coming up off all that buying that we've seen. But the day is yeah, we're gonna see where we close at the end of the day. Basil Chapman sitting in the hour, eleven o'clock till late and Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi folks, Basil Chapman sitting in for Larry Pesavento's hour, not Larry Pesavento's show because he's the only one that can do that show. 149 was the round number high in Square. SQ is the symbol, Block Inc, formerly Square Inc, point of sale, software mining receipts, uh, managing receipts. Uh, went to 82.72 from 289, lost over 200 points. Um, and it was a fantastic, it was and is a, a great company, just wasn't in the wheelhouse of the market. And then it had, a, what a, again, 82.72 to 149, you know, I love round numbers, especially at a peak D. So it's pulling back some, the MACD is good, stochastic is good, on balance one is very weak, rental strength is starting to weaken. So I think there's a lot of resistance here. And if you can see, this will be a good market indicator for, say, the QQQs or ARKK, that's uh, Kathy Wood's um, uh, innovation ETF. If if Square can start to trade, not just go there, but if it can start to trade in the 160s any time in April uh, without closing under 130, 127, that's going to be really good action. Uh, but it's got a lot of work to do. So that's square. I had a question about that. Can I show the chart? <clears throat> um, the other one is, um, so let me just finish up here. Soybean, continuous contract. Where did I type that? Yeah, soybean. S is a symbol, continuous contract. Made a peak E. And there's a the rectangle formation. Rule of thumb in the rec big, large rectangle formation is if it starts to make higher highs and higher lows, it can do a peak A, a peak B, a peak C, even a peak D. Just under, right on, or just above the previous high, and then go back into the rectangle. What did it do? The continuous contract had a high of 17.16. Let me just see what it is now, because it gets smoothed out. 17. 59 and a quarter, excuse me, on the 25th of Feb, plunges down within two days. I mean, what a move. It plunges down to 1579, round number low, and then goes peak A, peak B, holds the left side low on any pullback, peak C, holds it, and then goes all the way to a peak D on the 23rd of March at 1736 and a half. A little bit under the previous high, stuck in a range. Peak D in the weekly chart, also with a left side, right side price time match. Only a peak, a leg B. Oh, peak B, if no, today doesn't make a new high, which it won't. So it's a peak B in the monthly. It should still go to C and D. I'm going to get to that in a moment. Had a question about this. I'll go there. Uh, uh, this is uh, corn, makes a peak D on the same day. What was that? March the, what was that? On the 4th of March. At 7.62 and three quarters, pulls back and then goes H pattern, second H pattern to a peak C and fails underneath the previous high, takes out the left side low, is a lot weaker. Uh, just on the shorter term basis, the monthly, the weekly chart is still strong and the monthly chart is only in leg C and it should 
uh, make a left side, right side price time match going to the previous high that was made. This is at this it's a continuous contract, so the price will change. But the high of August of two, two, 2012 at 88.70 and, and a half, um, it should get there, and it should get there no later than um, the summer. Uh, that's the way it's looking right now. It's in leg C in the daily chart, right at the Chapman Wave inside track, sorry, inside wedge, repellent resistance line right there, target repellent line. And the MACD is good, stochastic is very good at 91%. And we're talking about, so coffee was the question. KC, coffee is trading, makes, made, makes a peak E this month in the, there's a continuous contract. As of the monthly chart, made a peak F in the weekly chart, made a peak D right there, 260-ish, 260, 260 on the 10th of Feb at 260.5. Pulls back to what? The 200-period moving average, trough A, trough B, trough C, trough D, trough E, trough F. It's gone to peak A, peak B, and if it goes just a tad above 28.65 it starts leg C the MACD is improving, stochastics improving but still weak, on balance volume is improving and the pink 9 period moving average is under the 14 period moving average, if it crosses positive there should be a quick move to 233 and what was the high on the, on the 9th of March 235.90 that would be my target key support is at 2 2 four to two to one right now it'll go into a rectangle formation if it fails right here so that's corn and that, that is coffee um what else was i going to do oh, bonds now he always talks about bonds and he trades bonds so this is a nice move up from a trough d a peak d at the 200 period moving average uh right here and that is the, this is the 30 year t bond t uh, this is a, at, at U.S. 30-year T-bond continuous contract, the high of the 7th of March at the 200-period moving average. Those three bars tested, failed at a peak D, makes the Eiffel Tower straight up, straight down move. Looks like an uppercase A. I always put this in just so that you can learn about these different techniques. I usually put it in right here. I usually put it like this to show that it's only a demonstration. And then I make this very big. And then I take it and I make it red. And you can see the Eiffel Tower straight up, straight down. Make the font nice and big. Oh, was that pink or was that red? Should have been red. Red. And there it is. All right. And I take it and I just move it down right here. And there it is. There's the Eiffel Tower, straight up, straight down. It took out the left side low, and it made a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. And I think that, oh, and this is what I wanted to show you as well, another technique in the Chapman Wave methodology. We're looking at the weekly chart of bonds. Uh, look at this trend line. You see this inside track little channel that becomes the support level, the, pro the propellant zone? Well, it's used. To, it's like a propeller zone, but we need to see the histogram start to improve in the weekly chart of the MACD. The stochastic is a little bit better than it was uh, at the previous low, and the on-balance volume is trying to turn up. So this is just the start. I think yields are going to go higher, but in the meantime, there could be some kind of a bounce in bonds so that yields can pull back somewhat. If you're looking at the T and X, wow, I used to have uh, this going all the way back uh, 50 years or so, but for some reason, Trade Station just I don't know why they stopped carrying all that data. It was just beautiful to see. So, look, here is the uh, TNX weekly chart. It's bro let me squeeze this a little bit one, two, three. There, so it's gone towards this high. This, this series, little cluster formation at 2.356, 23.56. Um, it's in leg G slash C. Uh, this week is so far is a lower high. So we might. Oh, let me show you this. This is really important. Uh, there. This is the long term charts. Um, and the white is the T TYX, the 30 year T bond yield. The brown is the TNX, the 10 year uh, yield. And the cyan, light blue color is a five-year ever VX. Here we go. Come before the break. Here we go. 
Okay, hey, 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 you're supposed to come in before the break finishes. There it is, there we go. There it is. So on the left, you see, talk about an overlap, that nine uh, over the four, the, the 10 year was taken, the five year went above the 14. Now it's pulling back some. So this is gonna be really important for flattening of the yield curve. Now look at the iShares uh, timber and forest sheet. If Sharpening ever... your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Hi everyone, I'm I'm sitting here for Larry, and I didn't see it because we've got this new uh, system here, which is starting to work great. Except some of us are getting used to it. I didn't see that Larry was on the phone from London, I believe. I'm so sorry, Larry. I would love to have spoken with you. Um, what can I say? Just the best of luck to you over there, and uh, I'm taking. I took this hour and I heard that you were not going to be here today so I did the hour and uh, doing the best I can thank you so much for calling I wow I would have loved to have spoken to you what can I say in the meantime let's just do a couple of things wrapping it up here I thought of something as we were about to go uh, wrap it up oh let, let's just look at this the volatility index look the volatility index is uh, up 51 cents at 19.84. It's got the arch formation. Looks like the Eiffel Tower, right? Straight up, straight down. It's pulled back from the 37s, 38, 37 area up in the, the flurry of all this negative activity earlier in March and Feb. And now it's down to 19. And that's just saying there's buying pressure. That's number one. So if the VIX index by Monday or so starts to climb into the 22 or higher area, then we can start to see uh, some kind of uh, a pullback. At this particular point, we're really looking at uh, the market 
holding pretty well, even though it's down 140 in the down, down, uh, down five. So what I am going to look at, and I'll talk about it tomorrow in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour. Friday we do a little more technical stuff based on the Chapman Wave methodology. Is where is this this monthly chart of the S and P? In the Chapman Wave methodology, remember I spoke about. Um, a buy signal going to a buy mode, which the monthly is in, should go to at least a D. We're at peak B. I don't know how that works, but we should go above 48.18.62 sometime uh, this year and, and actually in the next couple of months, if not sooner. So I'm going to be doing a webinar for my subscribers to my opening call uh, Wednesday a week the 13th of April, and we we're discussing a lot of these aspects. Uh, wh what are the implications? Why? What technical aspects can you use? Remember, I spoke about the, um, look at this. This is just using one particular index, a series of, of moving averages. Look at this. Here's the S&P. Here's the S&P and a monthly chart. Look at this black background. You see this green line starting right here, February of 2010? That green line has been a buy all the way through to today. Isn't that incredible? It's just one technique that you can use. We actually all long from the uh, uh, the low of the 6th of March. We went long. Um, sorry, the 20th of March. Have a wonderful uh, rest of the